Hello everyone and welcome to the School Technology Report. Today is Wednesday, September 1st, 2010. My name is Brad Flickinger with schooltechnology.org. All right, let's get right into the continuation of typing in an elementary school or keyboarding in an elementary school. We've already covered kindergarten and first grade. Now I want to talk to you about what I use in second and third grade because they start touch typing in second and third grade. Now I firmly believe that you should use a online typing program. So let me just do dance mat typing here in Google. I'll show you where that ends up at the BBC schools. I'm just going to click on that for dance mat typing. Now the reason I like online is that students can then do it at home. And learning to keyboard is all about muscle memory. You know that their little pinky here has got to remember that's where the A key is. And coming to a lab, a computer lab, once a week for just a few minutes is not going to build up enough muscle memory for them to truly develop their keyboarding skills. But if you have something online, then they can do it at home, at grandma's house, all those things, where if it's something that's just installed on your school server or your school machines, they have no access to it outside of school. So that's why I like this. Is it the greatest? No, but for second and third grade, they love it. So let me go right into a level here. I'm gonna go to level one. I'm not gonna do the home row because that's got a lot of the introductory stuff of where to place your fingers and those type of things. But I'm gonna go into lesson three here, the R and the U key. Now it's a flash-based typing program online, so I'm just going to click on start. Hello chicken, I'm your next typing partner. Lucky old you, eh? Come on in and meet the family. First, I need to check that your fingers are on the home roll. Pointing fingers on the F and the J. And line up your other fingers so they're all roosting on the home keys again. Okay, so let me just type in here. So I go F, D, S, A, space. You get the idea. But look down here at these eggs. And these change for each level, depending on what you're on. They're going to do a little bit of warm-up. Then they're going to work on their left hand, then their right hand, and then both hands together. Most of my students will get through this in about eight, maybe nine minutes. And I allow for 15 minutes of typing every time they come to my class. So when that ends, I don't want the other students to stop and we just move on because my slower typers need to get through the entire lesson as well. So I allow my quicker typers, and honestly, we want them to go through this quick. Normally, we say schoolwork, just slow down and do it right. But with keyboarding, it's about developing a faster speed of keyboarding. So when they are done this, I allow them to go to www.freetypinggame.net. And then they can play some typing games. And they love this. You know, dance mat typing is fun enough that they really enjoy it. But this really gives my other typers something to do while the, you know, the other ones are, are, are trying to finish there. So I'm just going to show you what uh, Martian City Defender looks like here. So this is, we're going to practice the home row. Uh, beginner key. All right, so these uh, lasers are starting to fall on our Martian City. And let me just type this in. K J K J F A L L. See that they blow up there, and that's just great. So, go back to there. All right, so that's what I do. I do dance mat typing, and then they can do uh, freetypinggame.net, and we get through about, like I said, 15 minutes of typing every time they come to the computer lab. And by the time they're done third grade, they are about 10, maybe 15 words per minute. They are typing along great. And tomorrow, I'm going to show you what we do in uh, third, well, fourth and fifth grade. So, fourth and fifth grade is coming up tomorrow. Today's sponsor is Lego Education for the Lego We Do system. I just want to thank them for sponsoring today's report. And we've just got our Lego We Do's in, so you'll hear more about this as we use it in our school. But they are fantastic. They are all about um, developing the science, technology, and engineering skills and mathematics for our students as they build these little contraptions that actually hook up to the computer. You can see the little laptop hooked up to this device here for it's a soccer Soccer goalie is going back and forth. So fantastic stuff, and I'm looking forward to being able to use that and review that this year at our school. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you tomorrow when we discuss fourth and fifth grade keyboarding.